<laughs> I love this song. New from Alicia Keys. It's been a while. You know the voice. Philly's best R&B and classic soul, WDASFM. The Midday Maven. Good luck in all you do. Queen of the 411. It's Keith Sweat. Goddess of gossip. And you're like, ooh. The hostess with the mostest. I'm Patty Jackson. Thanks for joining me on a Friday. Not just in Philadelphia on WDAS FM, Patty Jackson is also heard in 16 other markets around the country. Yes, yes, yes. All who meet her can't forget her smile. It screams Hollywood. Just like the countless stars who flock to her mic. It's good seeing you again. It's good to be here. I really had a million dollar smile. Stop the music. She said, had a million dollar smile. What happened? My teeth first started shifting when I was pregnant. That was 12 years ago. No big deal though, she got herself a full set of veneers and kept on smiling. When I got those veneers, I was stepping high and wouldn't, and wouldn't go to the dentist. The dumbest thing I could have done. Here's how it happened. Behind those dazzling veneers, a river of rot began flowing. Severe gum disease festering for years started swelling, smelling, and spreading out of control. And at first I thought, oh, I can take care of it, you know, or, or it can't be that bad. You're going to see an uproar. Bad enough to affect her speech on the radio. Because there's a lot of excitement. And her appearance in public. <laughs> her bread and butter. Well, because of the... <laughs> They're like all over the place. Still, she kept to her tight schedule until... Jill gets back to Philly, y'all. She gets back. I did an event with Jill Scott, whose mom was in dentistry. <laughs> and she told everyone to leave the room. She said, we need to talk. She said, stop. She said, you have gum disease, and it leads to your heart. She said, you got a son. You're taking care of your mom. She said, Patty, what happens if something happens to you? The ultimate wake-up call sent her running to the dentist. This doctor I went to, he totally freaked out. Just take your tongue out. Oh, perfect. She finally landed in the chair of no-nonsense, straight-talking Dr. Adam Craven. We don't do that kind of dentistry here, okay? So now let's take a look. There's too much gum here. A dozen or more teeth already gone and more to go. The tissue's reacting to the infection. These teeth are much longer than that, okay, but the tissue is overgrown. On x-ray, we could see how saving teeth was not a priority. These teeth were actually floating in the gums. There was uh, pus draining here. This is almost 100% bone loss. These teeth are hopeless here, so we had to get them out. He had to stop the rampant infection from spreading to vital organs that can cause chronic diseases like diabetes, stroke, heart attack, even death. So it actually had infiltrated into the sinus, which is a serious problem. So we, we didn't have any time to waste. Pour in the antibiotics and heal the gums first and more dental surgery. It'll take many more painful, frustrating months that were likely preventable. You put it off. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, here, and here we are. And here we are. So at this particular point, the damage has been done. What went through your mind when you heard that? Then I'll never have my smile again. That's what I thought, and I panicked. Folks looking at you right now will wonder, why is she doing this? Why would she do this? I know. Because I want to help other people. You don't want to be like this. You don't want to be like this. If you see a problem, don't ignore it. Don't say, oh, I'll put it off, I'll put it off. You'll put it off, you can lose your whole mouth. This is what I'm going through. But her journey is far from over. You're welcome. Welcome to Fort Washington. Yes. <laughs> Dr. Craven sends Patty to specialist Dr. Thomas Balshi to see if she is a candidate for the fix of the rich and famous. Perfect. Balshi's super sophisticated, high-tech teeth of the stars. The, the good news okay. is we can solve your problem. We can give you some new teeth. Mm -hmm. What's the bad news? We're going to have to take out the teeth that you have.